Okay, welcome back to SV Basic. Sun's peeking out. It's been a blustery winter. Tons of wind, tons of rain so far. Not real cold. Had a little cold spell, but for the most part, it's been tolerable. We're gonna shift gears now and do something I've been putting off a long time. That's the steering. We took the steering out oof, about seven, eight years ago. I had to build the sugar scoops and remove the rudders. It's a hydraulic steering with a ton of linkage and it's a pretty complicated system. Especially since now that the sugar scoops are done, we'll have to re-engineer it and put it all back in. Got the girls back here scrubbing up the sugar scoops for me. Give me a nice clean platform to start with. How are things going? It's dirty. <laughs> I know. Winter in Seattle, green stuff grows, doesn't it? Yeah, it was cold too. How's that going, Em? Okay, keep going. You're doing good. Fog's burning off. That means it's time to get to work. The steering, I'm not gonna lie, it's intimidating. There's a lot to it. I've been uh, all morning, been digging out parts and pieces out of this locker. Bunch of linkage here. Got my hydraulic pump. Here's my autopilot. All these pieces need to be cleaned up, see if we could use anything. I know they're gonna have to be modified, I'll have to cut some down, but everything seems like it's in great shape. So we're gonna try to use as much as we can. I mean, I've got parts and pieces sitting everywhere. I Hopefully I could find them all. Look at this, here's a strut. This has been sitting here for seven years, just strapped to the rail. 20 feet long. This ties both rudders together. We'll do what we can to clean this up. I've got boxes of little bits and pieces. It'll be a little bit of a challenge to put it all back together. Here's our Capilano pump. Definitely be using that. Here's our system. That's kind of sketching it out this morning and trying to find all the parts. Basically, here's our helm. We have a pump, an autopilot, hydraulic lines that go to the ram here. The ram is tied to the main strut. From there, it's a system of linkage that ties it to each rudder. Seems simple. This is 20 feet apart. I'm gonna break this into different categories when I do it. I've got my hydraulic system, I've got all the linkage, I've got the rudders, and I've got the autopilot. It's a lot of work, it's intimidating, but we gotta get it done, so let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna get a, a lot of questions like, why did I remove all the steering system? Well, for a couple of reasons. One reason is we had to build a new steering station. The helm was located over here on a small wheel. I built a new steering pedestal and actually moved the location. So that was one reason. The, uh, the big reason was because we had to build these sugar scoops. When we bought the boat, it looked drastically different than this. 
there was no stairs. This lower deck right here, you would walk to that, over to here, and then crawl up a four, almost four foot rise to get up onto the deck. And there was a little step in there somewhere just to help you get up over it. But it was awkward. Uh, it didn't utilize any of this area. So what we ended up doing was building uh, the stair system, putting a, actually a deck hatch in there. So we have access into there for storage and for access to the steering. This encloses, you know, 80% of the steering this way and protects it from the elements. It was a big project. And actually, let's flash back and I'll show you how I built it. Here's a shot of the original sugar scoops. I am in the process of removing all the linkage and hardware to remove the rudders. They're kick up rudders, so I was able to remove them in the water. I removed the deck and cleaned up all surfaces. I then started laminating Nidacor and carbon fiber with epoxy resins to uh, restructure this whole sugar scoop. You see the trough going in for the linkage, the first step going in here. And it was quite the process actually. I used curdy board for these radius edges and just built it up with layers and layers of glass cloth. Here's the deck going in and the final step. Once the final step was in, I was able to sand it smooth and prime and paint. The last step was to put in the hatch and the swim step. And everything went in pretty well. We did it all sitting in the water using uh, dust collection and happy with how it turned out. Okay, designing these scoops, it was interesting. They're not mirror images of each other. And that's due to the fact of what has to happen inside of these scoops and how the linkage travels through them. Look at this. As you come up the staircase, the upper step is here and the hatch is here. That's because my linkage is running through here. And if I, if I put the hatch over here, you wouldn't be able to get in. I'll show you what I mean by looking at the other side. They're not mirror images of each other. They're actually identical. I put the stair here and the hatch here. That's because the linkage has to run on the same side here. And that has to happen to get the rudders to run parallel with each other. It was a lot of calculations and I guess time will tell if I did it right. Let's take a look at these hatches though. Em and I had a, a lot of fun putting these in. Let's flash back to that. Now put your pencil in the hole, sit over here, and go all the way in a circle. Just like a giant, push it down so you can see it.
Hey guys, it is New Year's Eve and Emma and I are trying to finish up some schoolwork and after that we are heading out for a dinner party with some friends in the marina which is going to be fun. Emma's going to stay up I think till midnight. We'll see. What yeah. do you think? I will. You think so? How much you want to bet? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna try a penny. And a, a penny. Oh come on. Anyways, um, Teal is outside right now polishing up our linkage and steering, which is going to be a big project. So I want to go and see what he's doing, check it out, and maybe help him a little bit. This is something that we have been putting off for quite a while, but it's now or never. So nice outside, but. So Cold. How you doing? That looks shiny. Yeah, it's getting there, huh? Can we use everything? Um, most of it. Actually, zoom up right here. I'm going to show you what I've got going. These little bronze end pieces are in great shape. Got these polished up. This yeah, outer sleeve is in great shape. This inner piece here, it's threaded and it's got some deterioration on it. It looks like I'm gonna have to have that replaced. So it's just a matter of uh, pressing this pin out and replacing this threaded insert. You make it sound so easy, but I highly doubt it's gonna just press in and pull out. Yeah, I'll probably have to take that to a machine shop and get this pressed out and get, get this piece. If not, I may have to have this whole piece. That piece looks good though. Yeah, this is great shape. But for now, I'm gonna get these polished up, see what I have, see how many pieces need to be replaced, and uh, get all this installed at least. Do you want me to help you? Well, yeah. You got some time? I got some time before we get. We have to get ready. Okay. Love it. Come on. Okay. Here's what I've got going. I'm kind of working all these surfaces over with a 400 grit. Then I'm gonna work it up to a 600 grit, and then I'm gonna polish it out. But this 400 knocks down all this corrosion nicely. I mean, it is just a world of difference. It actually knocks it down pretty quick, too. these little pieces apart so I can inspect what's going on that looks pretty good that's pretty beefy probably too beefy Being 25 years old, it's coming apart pretty good. Everywhere it was stainless on stainless, it looks great. It's where the aluminum and stainless and bronze touch. That's where I had the issues. Everything was going smooth, of course, until the last one. I couldn't get it out. Got some uh, penetrating oil. Gonna let that soak in there while I have a little bite to eat. Come back out and try to muscle this one off. Oh, delicious. What do you think? 
Mm -hmm. It's nice having me home, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's next? Uh, put a little muscle on this and try to get this to break free. But I can do it on the dock. You need my help? You know I do. What do you think the muscle is? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Is that the key? Yeah. Using such a fine grid on this. This is a, a 400. It does nothing. But it does polish. I have a couple of corroded zerk fittings. I gotta have to get those out of there. I let this uh, penetrating oil soak into the zerk fitting. <laughs> Comes out like butter now. It's amazing stuff. Okay, this is what four hours of polishing looks like. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm happy with everything, with the exception of these fittings here. And I will address those. There's one other issue. I'm missing four pieces of this puzzle. There's four collars I can't find. I have looked everywhere on the boat. I've torn this boat upside down looking for them today. The only thing I can think of is we have a small storage unit in eastern Washington, about 100 miles from here, that we kept a few things in there. Actually, the rudders are in there, and I have to go get the rudders anyway. They better be in there, because they're pretty key pieces of this uh, installation. So it looks like I'm taking a road trip first thing tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll check it out. Okay, I think I, I did good today. It's starting to get dark. Temperatures are coming down again. Start cleaning up this mess. Because it's New Year's Eve. And we have a party to go to. Okay, where are we heading off to? We're going to a party. Ah, it's ah. New Year's, and so. Compass is mad he's not going. <laughs> he wasn't invited. So ah, we got ah. our bottle of bubbly and it's time to ring in the new year with our friends. So, happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. We can't wait to show you what next year's all about. Okay, let's head off to the party. Let's go. All of about, uh, what, six slips down.
Okay, we're here. Our little storage unit. It's got a lot of little boat parts in there still that we have to install. So I'm hoping those pieces are in there. They gotta be in there. But more importantly, there's something behind this door that I guarantee you nobody is expecting. Wow, 2018 has been pretty amazing for us. <laughs> we started our channel and shared with you some of our boat projects while we prepare for our world trip. We wanted to say a huge thank you to our subscribers and especially our patrons. Yes, the patrons, your support has really helped us a lot. And we want to say that 2019, we won't disappoint you. So we're going to take this project on the road and share with you more adventures and hopefully, uh, obviously more projects, right? Well, yeah, always projects. Yep. Anyways guys, come back next week to see one of our cool new videos. See you then!